So here's the best way, in my opinion, to learn digital art for anyone who's thinking about it but not sure where to start. I've been there and I've got something super cool to share with you that might just make your journey a whole lot easier. I'm Dario, professionally trained in comic book art with thousands of hours in both in digital and traditional drawing. Stick around because at the end I'm gonna tell you what's the amazing superpower that you get only with digital that you just cannot get with traditional techniques. So let's get started. Let's be real, jumping into digital art without a clear path can be overwhelming. You might find yourself struggling with the new software, obviously, because you're not used to it, feeling awkward with uh, your tablet as well, just not seeing the result you, you want. It's easy to get frustrated and think that digital art isn't for you. But don't worry, because that's not the story we're writing today. So with digital tools, uh, you're not just making art, you're doing it fast. The efficiency of digital art allows you to quickly adjust, experiment, and uh, refine your work easily and with thousands of iterations. So the ability to undo experiment with layers and easily manipulate your work means you can produce high quality pieces at a speed that traditional methods just cannot match. And in today's world, this speed is crucial because uh, you're sharing your work on social media and keeping up with the fast-paced art industry is key. Even though I still think the pleasure and richness that the paper gives you is still unmatched. But again, we live in this technological world now, so at least until AI will destroy us all and <laughs> we go back uh, to do uh, handprints in case. But anyway, so let's break it down. First off, the core skills you need for digital arts are the exact same you've already been using for traditional art. So if you know how to draw, uh, you're already halfway there, basically. Fundamentals like perspective, gesture and anatomy, they are just as crucial in the digital realm. And um, if you need a quick brush up on that, I've got some videos you should definitely check out. When it comes to software, I've got to say Clip Studio Paint is my personal favorite. It's just the best, in my opinion. It's just amazing, especially if you are into comics. Um, it, uh, it's just the best for drawing, inking and coloring, it does it all. But no matter which program you use, uh, the skills you develop are going to be the same. Now, about your hardware, um, if you're starting out with a non-display tablet, don't worry, you can still create amazing art. I mean, it's gonna be a little more difficult because you, can, you literally have to train your brain in uh, like to match what you see with where your hand goes uh, but i mean i did it myself for a number of years with just a little wacom and it served me well but anyway if you're thinking about upgrading a display tablet it can really be a game changer the bigger the better because uh, you need room to move your hand. In my opinion, the movement you, that you do in traditional, like fast and gestural strokes uh, and lines um, still apply on the tablet. But anyway, all of that, of course, within your budget. So if you can't afford much, just get the little one and you're good to go. I've been using a 16-inch Huion and uh, it's been a game changer for me. Like the feeling of seeing where you actually draw uh, it's just a matchable. <laughs> XP Pen is another great brand if you're looking for something similar and it could be even better uh, than the Huion based on what I heard recently. So, and now the moment you've been waiting for the secret I mentioned earlier, here it is. The number one thing that will help you improve faster in digital art is layer management. It sounds simple but mastering how to use layers effectively will make everything else click into place. Let's say the invention of layers has taken a huge weight of artists' shoulders, that anxiety that comes from having only one chance to get it right when like coloring or um, inking traditionally, for example. Like you are not, if you're not sure about something, you can just try it first on another layer and then if it works out, merge it with the other layers. And moreover, you have the possibility to experiment with a ton of uh, effects with all the blending methods that exist for each layers. 
Uh, not only that, nowadays to work efficiently in the industry, you have to deliver projects digitally. And the point is that when you have a big project, the number of layers increases dramatically. So your ability to organize them is crucial. Uh, what I suggest is to always name them and divide them into groups according to categories that you establish, obviously. So layers gives you the freedom to experiment without fear. And once you're comfortable with them, you'll be amazed at how much more confident and creative you'll become. So there you have it. If you're just approaching the digital art world, just know that every digital artist uh, started right where you are now. And with some patience and practice, you'll be creating art that you're proud of in no time. But as I said before, the drawing skills for both digital and traditional are exactly the same. So if you need to learn the fundamentals or even just want a refresher, check out this playlist here. Bye.